Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm your host, Mark Spencer. With me again is Steve Martin. How are you doing, Steve? Good to see you, Mark. Today, once again, we're going to explore some of this quite amazing amount of new features that are in Final Cut Pro 10.0.1. Yes. Which you wouldn't think it would be a lot, but there's quite a bit going on. So what are we going to talk about today? We'll talk about uh, GPU accelerated effects. GPU versus CPU. GPU versus CPU. Okay. So I have heard of that a little bit because motion is big on the GPU, but I didn't know Final Cut can leverage the... What, well, is, the, what, is, what is the GPU? Well, Just, GPU yeah. stands for Graphics Processing Unit. Okay. Right? Uh, and basically, it's the brains on the graphics card that does all the processing of the pixels. As opposed to the CPU, this is on the graphics card. On the graphics yeah. card. And you think about Final Cut Pro 10, it's very much a graphics driven application. You know, you add effects and titles, and, you know, even the video uh, engine in, in a lot of ways is, uh, is driven by uh, okay. the GPU. So, what is this acceleration well, all about? Well, here's the thing you, you got to. At the end of the day, you want to make a movie for people to watch on their iPads or their iPhones or put on the web right. or watch on Apple TV. And the way you would do that in Final Cut Pro is that you would do that, do this from the share menu. Right, where you have all yeah. your different options. Absolutely. Okay. Now, the thing is, is you're not going to see this, but mm -hmm. when you uh, select one of these options, let's say Apple devices, uh, you're going to notice a significant increase or decrease in output time. In time. So it's going right. to export your movie to a different format faster. Well, correct. I mean, presumably, well, the, the format you're working with in the timeline is either ProRes or some codec, but it's right. not the final codec, which is a hybrid word for compressor decompressor. It's right. the engine behind what play what the computer uses to play back the video. The codec will be different, and these deliverables are in the H.264 codec, and mm -hmm. it's uh, the GPU is somehow optimized for that codec, and it really um, churns them out quite fast. So it's using the GPU instead of the CPU, but the bottom line is, regardless of whether you care about any of that, it's going to be faster. It's going to be faster. It's going to be faster Much to faster. encode your final project for any variety of devices that Here they, they use the H.264 codec. Right, all of these. iPhones, iPads, Apple TVs, watch on your Mac, go to the web, go to YouTube, go to Vimeo, any of that kind of stuff. Absolutely. Okay. Now there's another way you can get out video uh, to the masses that's actually quite fast as well. And I'm going to show you that way using compressor. So if you go to share menu, so that any of those options don't actually use compressor. No, they're, okay. they're, they're just being handled by the graphics okay. card, and you're, you're rendering out a movie, and you end up with this movie. Okay. At the end of the, the, end of the day, uh, but you can also send a compressor. One of the advantages of sending a movie to compressor is that you can, for one thing, you can set in and out points. Let's say you wanted to uh, export just a portion. Just portion, not the whole thing. Yeah, a little chat, right. A little section, a little test, maybe or something. Exactly. Okay. So um, in, in compressor, what you end up doing is you add what's called an encoding target. So what you do is you you drag a uh, an encoding target. You go here, and I'm going to go and open up an Apple devices. I'm going to drag this iPad target there. That's and these the are a bunch of just preset, presets presets for what you want to code to. And by exactly. the way, just to be clear, compressor is a a separate application that you purchase. 49 bucks, right, from the App yes. Store. Uh -huh. So it's not required for using Final Cut, but if you are doing any kind of things that you want any more control. Right, I mean, what, right. what's really great about Compressor is that, notice I'm, I can output an iPad version, but notice I can also output a Blu-ray version from the same pass. Okay. Can't do that in Final Cut Pro. You have to do one and then next and Correct. next. And this, you can just set up a batch for multiple different destinations yes. in one go. Yep. Okay, and you can set in and out points. You can set in and out points. You can go over here and say, I like, I want to uh, export uh, uh, only from there to, let's say, there. And you couldn't, uh, you can't do that directly in Final Cut, Cut, so you could do that okay. right here in Compressor. Anything else that you could do here that you can't do? In yes, one other that important thing is, um, we don't have time to go into a lot of detail, but notice this is Apple QMaster. What this is, a QMaster is Apple's encoding agent, and essentially it's like a conductor uh, for what for uh, sending data to different computers on a network. Okay, so, so you set up what's called a cluster, and that's okay. in other words a bunch of computers on a network that you send to farm bit, bits of the movie out to. And you, uh, the QMaster handles all of that. All right. So if you have multiple computers, you can leverage all of them for rendering some big project Correct. rather than tying one machine up for exactly. a long time. Exactly. And all those machines that are out there are called service nodes. They're performing a service. All right. So just one last question about it, because a lot of our machines now have multiple cores inside. So can you can you sort of use that to leverage all your cores? Or are they leveraged already anyway? No, you can. And that's a, be that's a beauty of what I'm about to show you, is you could set up 
multiple your multiple core machine as those it, um, the Q Master treats those cores as separate service nodes. Okay, like a se almost as separate computers. Yes, exactly. Okay. And uh, the way you do that is you go to Apple Compute uh, Q Master, share this computer. You turn on share this computer. Right. And then you want to check as services only because you're setting up the, this computer for a service. In this okay. case, rendering. You want to check compressor, and then you want to go into options. Mm -hmm. And you know, and where you'll see the number of cores, it's listed right here. And this has got a lot of cores in it. Okay. So here's the general rule. The number of cores or instances that you set should be half the amount of RAM, or half the amount of uh, half the oh, amount of cores. Half the amount of cores okay. to the amount of RAM. So if you have if you have eight gigs of RAM, yes. then you want to set four instances or four cores. I see. Okay. You never want to like take. You it don't to the max. max out the number. You of never cores. max it out. Okay. Right. In fact, this is written into their documentation. Okay. So that'll give you like the, the the most efficient, fastest rendering. Don't just immediately assume. Oh, I have sixteen cores. I want to use all of them. Exactly. Okay. So you go ahead and uh, set the instances. You click OK. Yeah. Uh, you. It's all set up. And click OK here, and now um, what you should do is uh, um, you should uh, before you, you should set the destination. In other words, where is this movie going? I'm going to go to. Yeah, I'm sending it to uh, the users movies folder. Click submit. Click submit, and now what's going to happen is if you monitor the encode in the history window, yeah. you will notice an appreciable speed. I mean, a significant increase in speed because it's, it's using those cores, those cores. It's using all those cores to turn the movie. So you could even do this on your laptop, right? On your MacBook Pro as that's got multiple cores. Absolutely. You'll get faster encodes from Final Cut and, and from Motion as well. And from Motion as well. And as long as you send it to Compressor. Yep, as long Steve, as you send it to Compressor. Awesome tip. So GPU acceleration within Final Cut, within Final Cut. for encoding to devices using H.264 and then uh, setting up a cluster on the machine. Yeah, Great. yeah. Great so I just came out with a Compressor 4 tutorial just last okay. week that uh, explains this and a lot more about Compressor because Compressor is kind of the uh, the engine for delivering QuickTime content. Okay, so if you want to learn more about Compressor or Final Cut or Motion, RippleTraining.com. RippleTraining.com. All right, thank you very much for watching. I'm Mark Spencer, Steve Martin, thank you. And thank you for watching MacBreak Studio.